Okay, this is Nest 07 ADC 15 at site E4 on June 17th. Wildlife biologist Anna Shalfoon has been keeping an eye on this nest and its five-day-old chicks. Although mom is away from the nest, Shalfoon expects her to return soon with a mouth full of food. She uses video cameras to document how many trips the parents make to and from the nest. The goal is to record how much and how often they feed the chicks. It's part of a four-year study in Grand Teton National Park in western Wyoming. Here, researchers are investigating the potential impacts of a new bicycle path now under construction. Perhaps the most important reason to conduct this research is the fact that a pathway system of the scope of the one that's proposed here in a national park with the kinds and numbers of wildlife we have is unprecedented. The National Park Service plans to build about 40 miles of pathways here. Even though the paths will be close to the road, studies show that wildlife react differently to people on bikes and on foot than they do to cars. Park biologists say wildlife get used to routine disturbances such as car traffic, but they appear to pay more attention to people walking or biking. People stop more often and are less predictable than cars. We feel it's very important to know how the wildlife are going to respond to this new type of human use in the park. Park researchers are studying several species, including elk and bears. Shalfoon focuses on the smallest of the lot, songbirds that nest in sagebrush. As you can see, they're extremely hidden and cryptic, usually tucked underneath a very small sage. These nests can be found very close to roads, and some could end up between the new pathway and the road. Shalfoon uses a mist net to capture adult birds. She weighs and measures the adults, eggs, and chicks. By closely monitoring these birds before, during, and after pathway construction, Shalfoon hopes to detect even subtle changes. The birds could lay fewer or smaller eggs, for example, and even small changes in the weight of the eggs or the chicks could start to add up. When it comes time to leave the nest, the bigger the chick, the better its chance for survival. In a cumulative sense, these um, potential responses could really have a big impact to the population. Although not as visible as other park species, songbirds typically return to the same nesting site year after year. Shalfoon marks the location with a GPS and puts colored bands on the birds to track whether they return to the same site after the pathway is finished. She's tracking several species, but paying extra attention to the brewer's sparrow. It's the most abundant songbird in her study, but its numbers have been declining at a rate of 3% a year across its western range. Experts say the drop coincides with a loss of sagebrush grassland habitat due to human activities. It's too soon to say what impact, if any, a pathway might have. This study will extend through 2010, and researchers hope that what they learn could help make future pathway designs, not only here, but anywhere, as wildlife-friendly as possible. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.